What's up guys? It is Jay Beebs here and welcome to the first episode of the Fleetwood Town Career Mode series. Fleetwood Town, simple two star team down in League One. Board expectations aren't really that high, decent transfer budget. Essentially that's why I've chosen them. Uh, we will not be doing international job offers. This is strictly Fleetwood Town. In this series, basically it, how it's just simply going to work. Uh, each episode is going to be like the month of July. This, that's what this first episode will be. Next one will be August. I'm just going to stop. I'll play one game throughout. Obviously there's different, you know, when it comes to cup games, and obviously I'll play an extra game. Likely, but probably not yet right now you know once we get champions league obviously you gotta play that but like i don't really care about the carabao cup i don't really care about the efl trophy really only care about the league and the fa cup and likely only gonna be playing fa cup games maybe play carabao cup games but not likely so we this squad for those of you if you are fleetwood town fans you know it's a it's a Strange, strange squad. You'll just go with this one. Because I'll show you in a second. We will go over to the squad hub. And we'll search by overall. On loan. On loan. Not on loan. Nice. Retiring and old. Pretty decent. Good and young. Retiring. Not that bad. Loan. Contract is not that long. Not that bad. Not that bad. Loan. So, there's this very strange combination of old players mixed in with young players. And, like, everyone's contract is expiring in the next 12 months. So, it's, it's going to be a tough... I think it'll be fun to really go through and actually I mean next season the squad's gonna be completely different I'm just telling you now because I mean you know, all his players on loan all his players retiring the squad's just gonna be totally different so yeah this is how this is how we're lining up in a 4-2-3-1 narrow gonna play a little possession based style because of I mean, there is, I mean, obviously McKay has a lot of pace, but doesn't have the greatest shooting, so I can't really utilize that. Fast has got, I mean, he's, we have to have a very dominant striker in this formation, but in the midfield, nothing really unique about him. All right, I should probably fix up the squad, fix up the bench. Another nice thing is I can... ...sell a lot of these players. Because I feel like, but if you want to be successful in FIFA 21 career mode, you have to, you have to build through the youth academy, and definitely are, I'm definitely planning on doing that. All right, go five seven. Pass after position lost. Possession six four, and we'll put our attacking mids on free roam. So that's gonna handle that. Part of the squad now. Let's check our youth academy, see what players there are. Okay, nothing spectacular. I mean, let's see here. We'll probably convert this guy to a defensive, to, to center back. Yeah. Convert him to a center back. Morales will convert him to an attacking mid. And we'll just leave everyone else for now. Alright, finances. We need to... Alright, so we got about 3.3 million. I'm not planning on purchasing any players. If I'm if I'm being fully honest with you guys, I just don't see it happening. Alright, so we got three amazing scouts. So this scout, we're going to send... We're, we're going to scout in Portugal, Italy, and Spain. That's kind of what we're going to be doing for a while. Six months, technically gifted. Um, we'll send this scout to Italy. 
six months to find some defensive minded players and this scout to Portugal to find some physically strong players. So yeah, alright, there we go. Youth Academy is all sorted. You have to just read all those stupid no email notifications. Alright, now we can go to the squad hub. Uh, I mean, I don't even think it's worth it to move from K. But we'll go through, we'll manage this, these things. Alright, so... Goalkeepers will probably just have to look to rotate them. Back line is pretty much picks itself. Defensive mids. Alright, Whalen's retiring, so he can't really he doesn't have much leverage on us. Uh we'll get rid of him. Also get rid of this Bagley. Mm, I don't think we're gonna get rid of Finley quite yet. Actually, let's see what is he, is he a better attacking mid or defensive mid? Looks like attacking mid. Actually not. Alright, so, I mean, that could be interesting. Yep. Getting rid of our wide midfielders. Bring in some more money. And we don't need them. Alright. Alright. So that's gonna sort that out. Uh, we'll we'll worry about playing the uh, training sessions after preseason's over with. Yep, and we got a mass influx of emails or messages from our players. And I don't I don't think we're gonna do that well in the preseason. Just because the team's gonna like I don't know how much FIFA actually factors in like tactics and stuff to Sims. I mean most of the time I think they literally just flip a coin and make some score up. Alright. Good, we got a transfer offer for Burns. We actually we can we can get a pretty good amount of money for him. Actually we might we might buy a player. Victoria Cole and they're a decent team. Yeah. I did us I used to use them a lot back FIFA twenty. I really used them. Alright, transfer offer for Saunders. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be selling to him. Oh, good offer for Morris. Get a good amount of money in for him. So, honestly, looking at the season, I actually don't think I want to get promoted. Because obviously, you know, like you guys saw, the entire team is like changing. We're going to be a completely different team next year. And I don't want to, I don't want to be going up to the championship and we have to splash our entire transfer budget on some old players that are cheaper just to barely survive that season. And then we get stuck in that like cycle of, oh, let's just try not to get relegated. And you know the minute that we get relegated, we're probably going to be fired. And then the series is over, and that's no fun. Like if, we, like if we can just not get promoted this year, get a good core of young youth players to develop, I think that's the best case scenario for us right now. And this is actually a little bit of a sneak peek. USL Dunkirk. Okay. Dunkirke, out of French League 2. I am actually starting a series with them in a couple of days. And depending on what channel you're watching on, it may already be out, but I doubt it. At least I'll try not to. 
So that way you guys have this little bit of insider knowledge. So yeah, it's one of one of two new series that's going to be debuting after this one. I also have a German Road to Glory that's going to be coming out soon. Road to Glory slash career mode. I'm going to call those Road to Glory. This one's really a career mode. But yeah, it's, it's going to be... I think those series are going to go pretty well. Alright, about to play the uh, preseason final. I don't, I doubt we're going to win this one. So I'm pretty sure we, yeah, we lost on the group stage. And we're tired. Oh, that's right, I need to change that. So one thing I've noticed is, I mean, I've, I've done, I have like 10 different series using like League, League 2, League 2 and League 1 teams on this channel. One thing I've realized is, with leagues like this, is it's best to have intermittent rest instead of intermittent training. Because, I mean, you just play so often. You know, if, you're, if I'm doing a series with, like, one of my Euro teams from, like, a smaller European league where they play, or, yeah, where they pretty much play Saturday. You know, they play every Saturday, every week. Then I can put on intermittent training, and it doesn't really matter for my players at all but we're gonna get into these drills play a little bit not only to get those training scores up but also get to know the team a little bit better and I don't really know I don't really know many of these players you know, I, I've yet to actually play a game with them and we won't be until next month we're gonna open up the season against I'm pretty sure I saw it was Wigan so that'll be a pretty good start to the season, hopefully. I was even considering doing this series with Wigan, but they do have one financial. Like the board objective is, is financial is one. And like I'm sorry, like I know some people can do it, but I need two. Like two is high for me. Like honestly I work best three and below. Just because, you know, I have an idea for what I want. Like this. If if uh I wouldn't be able to sign like any of those scouts if they were actually if the board objectives were higher. Wheeling, that was a terrible pass. I do not I'm glad I decided to get rid of Whelan. She is not impressing at all. Or Morris. Yeah. Whelan is a terrible old man. Can you explain to me how that pass is going there? Okay, I literally, I want to get rid of Whelan, but I don't think I can because of numbers. Like, I do not want him at the club, but I do need to have extra defensive mids. Oh, you're kidding. Cross it in. Of course, that's going to end up going nowhere. That's a foul. There we go. I'm going to go wheel and use that blistering pace. The old. Ah. <sighs> I will say these drills, like these in the champion attacking scenarios, to me make no sense. 
Because, like, my your players are so bad, they can't even get a pass off. Like, I'm not even going to bother frustrating myself trying to play another thing. So, I mean, I know what's going to happen. Players are going to be stupid. Play poorly. Okay, so at least I know Vassal is good shooting if he's scoring from there at that angle. Okay, if I'm holding down R1 to draw to help to call for help with my second defender, I'm pretty sure that means my second defender should look to help out. One thing I really hate about this FIFA is, you know, they're trying to get rid of the whole, oh, let the AI defend for you. Like, it's at the point now where, like, I can't even trust my, like, that situation. I would not trust my defender to get to the ball and kick it out of bounds. And it's like, oh, why don't you just control them more? Bro, I can't control an entire back line to man mark. Oh good, Morris just got sold. An extra 600k, so we, I mean, we got a good amount of money in the bank now. We got two and a half million. Oops, I was supposed to play that training. All right. Ugh. This lobbed passing one, I think. Is one of the three that frustrates me the most. Good finish there from Camps. I will say these, like, uh, sort of like passing drills, where, I mean, obviously. Offense is aimed to win every single time. It's so much easier with better teams. But any of the drills where, like, you're attacking defenders are so much harder with better teams. Like, it's not even, like, proportionate to, like, oh, team's better quality, so it makes sense. Like, no, it's straight up impossible. And it's so, so much easier if you're using a bad enough team. Like, yeah, like, one thing I don't like is how is it wrong target? There's one dude on the field. Uh, we'll, we'll take a B. This this drill is fine. This drill actually makes a little bit of sense. There we go. Hit the water bottle. One thing I don't like is the players cannot shoot far post. Like, you, you gotta go near post pretty much every single time. But there's no common sense applied by the players. Oh, guard, how do you miss that badly? Like, it's so scripted. There's no way that dude's hitting that, this water bottle off that stick. Three out of the next ten times. This drill's fine as long as FIFA doesn't screw you over with players. Like that. Easy dubs. I mean, two A's and a B, we'll take it. Definitely could have done could have done worse. All right, got a transfer offer for Smith. Yay! Leave our club.
All right, guys. This training day, next training day, and then that's going to conclude this episode. I'll go, go on my computer. We'll we'll find some player. We'll look up some players to sign. Okay, that was a terrible cross. Terrible touch by Saunders. Good finish there from Gardner. Oh, it's a quick, easy cross. There we go. Back post. Oh, wasn't pretty, but got her done. This drill's fine as long as your players have the slightest bit of technical ability. And it's not... Wait, why am I... These are defenders doing this. Bad teeth. <laughs> like, why is my... Is it, this is like my back line. I didn't know my back line needed to improve their shooting. Okay, I'll, we're gonna do that again. All right, okay, FIFA, that was interesting. Hit the target. It's literally on the ground. There we go, Batty. There we go. How do you hit it? that cleanly and not hit the target. Okay, Mulgrew cannot shoot for his life. Are we seriously not gonna get an A on this drill? There we go. All right, play the next drill. This one's like so many so many of these drills are just mind numbing. It's like I mean I almost have an A. No skill at all is required to do this drill. We are cruising right now. Yeah. One last training day. And then we about to play the first game. Oh. Well, that's it then. We're gonna play our first game with Fleetwood Town. And it's going to be quite the. Yeah, I think that's a good. Yeah, we're just gonna play against Wigan. Open things off. Well, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. Hope you all will stay tuned so you can see the rest of this series. More episodes of the series comes out. Those new series that I was talking about. But until then. I hope you all had an amazing week or day or hour, depending on when the next one's coming out. And it is J. Biebs signing off.